Okay, YouTubers, um, you know, since I've, uh, talked about this before, um, putting up a talk through of my, uh, I mean, of, what do you call it, of Super Castlevania 4, I decided to start, you know, right now. As you can see, I've been trying to get this done almost immediately. Since I've been wanting to do that. Uh, there. Now you might not see the screen, and that's because, you know, the, the TV sucks. Anyway, I'm going to start Super Castlevania 4, but not just yet. Well, you see, i got to get this whole thing set up. It's very tedious. I even have to move the laptop up. And still not much change. So, what I'm going to do is, you know, Keep going. <sighs> there we go. Hope you can see that. Turn down the brightness. There we go. I hope you can see that. Let's start the game. Now, um, when you do play the game, you notice it really starts to sound pretty, you know, I mean, it looks pretty damn cool. Konami. And yet, this thing, this stupid thing won't show up on screen. Start the game. Super Castlevania 4. That's better. Start. Super Castlevania 4. Start. I'm going to start off with a name. Ah, crap. Oh, come on. Too bright. So, picture. There we go. I hope you realize I had to warp out this computer. I mean, this whole thing. Oh, sorry. Mew. I'll just have it music. Game start. He's got the whip. Now, when you see him walking around, you know it really, it really starts to you know uh, get boring when you hear the music. Now, I've pulled up a song on YouTube. I hope you enjoy. See, this song goes great with the game, wouldn't you admit? Yeah. 
This song is Pantera Immortally Insane, but the song goes so good with the game. Now, when you do hear this song, you think this wouldn't be good for Castlevania. But it's, but this is a 90s, well, Super Castlevania 4 is a 90s game, you, and Pantera was a 90s metal band, and that song was immortally insane. It went so well with the Castlevania series, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised it wouldn't make it onto the whole series itself. Now, when you play this game, you, you start off with, I think, I'm what I'm guessing is Simon Belmont with his usual whip. You whip enemies, get money, kill bats, which, you know, you always hate bats in the game, right? So, you go to the next level. Blah, blah, blah. More enemies. Two-headed pricks. Skeletons. They're, that, they're pretty easy to beat. You just kill them with one hit. You get pork chop inside the walls, and you're pretty much set until you start getting attacked by more enemies. This is a pretty complicated game if you think about it for a while. The music's pretty good. So you're really just going through the castle on the first level, which is not much to talk about, but it's really more of an endurance piece of the game at the beginning, to where you can get used to playing it. Now, it's really to show you how challenging the game is at the beginning, but then you realize it's not playing around, is it? You can even moonwalk. You can even moonwalk up the stairs and down the stairs. You might not see it on the webcam, but you see it. You see him moonwalking if you if you're going up the steps going, you know, in that way, you have to hit um, you know, down and I mean up and back. I mean up and forward, you know. I'll explain it to you later. It's usually just the up button what you're using to go up the stairs and then you start moonwalking. Along the way you find these little bats with the little hook on them. And that's nothing to worry about because when you're there you can start swinging using your whip but you have to keep swinging back and forth. See it's nothing much of a challenge until you see those skeletons coming up those little corpses coming up with their little clubs. going up. Now this game is not that hard until you get to more of the boss battles which can be pretty difficult unless you I mean unless you know what you're doing. Now playing this game I, I took me a while to at least get used to the control of this game which is actually pretty fun. Jump is X, square is the um, is a whip and the triangle and circle since this is an emulation you wouldn't have any trouble. So, Now you're at the bottom step right here, you notice? So you crouch down and hold the whip and you can start falling down and get all the power-ups. These blocks you have to notice they have a lot of the power-ups just like if you whip a candle resembling the original game where you have to whip the uh, candle. But Super Castlevania 4 actually advanced I mean, Super Castlevania 4 actually advanced I pause the game. It advanced, you know, your controls. You could whip up down and over and you can even uh, you know hold the web around and just make it I and mean, you can hold it uh, without having to have it in any, in any direction you can just spin it and fling it around check out part 2